Hi there, welcome to another video from the Vickers MG Collection of Research Association. This is another one of our manual previews, and this is a recent arrival, uh, a guide to War Certificate A in five parts, and this is part four, drill and weapon training, so the bit that's relevant to us. Published by Gail and Polden, uh, fourth edition there, so you know, clearly a series, um, and look, distributed by Forster Groom & Co. Uh, telephone Whitehall 3280. Um, yeah, obviously a, a London, but it's a wartime uh, bookshop. Uh, keep all books required for the Home Guard, ARP, ATC, etc., which is really interesting uh, to see. Cadet's Pocket Book is one we've seen before. We don't have one in the collection, I don't think. Clearly, these are all based around Officer Cadets um, and Officer Training Corps, possibly. War Certificate A was one of the exams that they would have to um, put through so yeah Sheffield University contingent senior training corps so this you know explains what drill and weapon training they were expected to know um, 1945 so uh, just towards the end of the war there and you know, war, war economy standard uh, contents are quite interesting so they are those basics uh, potential squad commander hints on teach, teaching weapons training which is useful for us indoor lessons how to put those uh, lectures on the application of fire, so judging distance, range cards, hopefully you've seen our video on those. Um, Brennan rifle covered for anti-aircraft action. And then building sand tables, which uh, again we did sort of during the rangefinder training for range cards. Um, outdoor exercises as well. Uh, so, um, oh, an assault course, uh, how to construct and use it. So something, and then some quizzes, which might be interesting to look at in a bit more detail. Uh, so here are the five parts, lectures on field craft and section leading, sand table schemes, outdoor exercises, drill and weapon training, and then map reading and compass. So um, instructors and cadets are guide whereby they can be sure of success in the War Certificate A examination. Um, hints on teaching drill as well. So drill is the foundation of all discipline. Uh, you know, and that's what, you know, it, it, why, why do we spend so much time doing drill? Oh, and look, the um, publication date, 5th of May, 1945. Uh, if, on, if only they knew, they might not have bothered uh, publishing it. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so uh, let's have a quick flick through. Oh, a new, newspaper cut in there. Somebody's been using, possibly as a um, bookmark. It was nice to see. Uh, how will the Germans give in? Um, so when will they surrender, for example? Uh, interesting. Um, so this is my first flick through this manual. Uh, so you know, you're seeing these things as I am. You know, basic, basic drill. I think everybody'd expect to to know. Objects of weapons training um, demonstration. So good to good to understand that. Good to see how it was being taught at that point. We'll compare that. Um, small arms training manuals. They specifically talk about the 1942 series, which we have on the website, uh, the majority of which. Um, in the writer's opinion, these are so good that he would not presume to set out separate lessons on the various weapons. He can do no better than refer to the reader to them and offer a few suggestions as how the best use can be made of them. That's really interesting. Such praise for a series of small arms training manuals. Um, what an interesting, what an interesting statement to make. And then, yeah, so it's just basically what to, you know, refers back to the manual, um, which we recently put the application of fire series online. Uh, so with the 1942, 37 and, and the others in high res, uh, so you'll be able to access all those um, different lectures, filling out a range card, super, um, fire control orders, destination, designation, who is going to be firing, what range, what indication of target and what kind of fire uh, in there, D-R-I-K, DRIK, um, super, uh, anti-aircraft action fire. Let's have a, some sand table schemes as well, how to build sand tables and how to learn from them, which is uh, great. Range cards there, fire control orders, how they link up with that. Um, and then some practical exercises on section handling, what equipment to wear, what equipment to use. We might try and replicate some of these actually for, uh, for some videos, if that would be of interest. Um, show how the manuals get used and how they work, work in practice. That's some, one of our plans. Um, um, constantly is to try and you know show how this material works with uh, real students, um, real, real people. Uh, it's always great to to try that. Um, and then, yeah, so improvised training equipment, what to use, 
here what to use when you haven't got stuff different grenades there um dummy igniters constructed from a wooden plug with a 2-2 cap hammered on the end amazing uh and then what how to build an assault course how to use the course uh, no diagram we always like an assault course diagram um perhaps that's something we can you know try and uh, build as well one day um yeah so and then certificate a let's not worry about the quiz on drill let's look at can how can you identify your own rifle explain the procedure for cleaning the barrel if everybody can see that perhaps um you know we'll, we'll scan that one in uh would everybody be able to answer that the thompson submachine gun car, car submachine carbine as well um there's the answers just cover those over a minute the sten and then application of fire um you can see those as well and perhaps test yourself uh perhaps we'll you know pop a few questions on instagram or twitter and everything and see if you know the answers as they um as they exist on the quiz we won't show you the answers though so oh well actually we can show you some of it because it says just look at the lessons um to find them and then we've got you know all of those manuals that are available on the um, on weapon training published by Gale and Polden in this period. So some of those we recognise, some of those we have in the collection, um, and some I'm sure we'd like to uh, acquire. Uh, so there you go. As always, a rattle through of a recent arrival for the Association's archive that will be scanned and put together and shared as soon as we possibly can. Uh, thank you so much to our patri patrons for supporting the Association. And uh, you know, you did, did, these have been funded through the support you give, uh, as well as you know, our other items in the archive. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.